Hello fellow programmers and welcome to another C Sharp uh, exercise brought to you by Coding Homework. And my name is Pavel and I'm going to show you how to write an application that will enable you to display an aquarium's pH level. The pH is a measure of the aquarium water's al alkalinity and is typically given on a 0 to 14 scale. For most freshwater fish tanks, 7 is neutral and tanks with pH lower than 7 are considered acidic and tanks with pH higher than 7 are alkaline. We will allow the user to input a pH level number and display a message indicate, indicating the health, it, meaning acidic, neutral or alkaline of the aquarium. So this is a typical c -sharp exercise for if statements. So this is going to be fairly quick. There's only one variable we need and that is going to be the pH and it's going to be an integer and that's what the user will enter. So we will ask the user to uh, enter the pH level. So we will go, please enter the pH level. And now we need to check if the user entered a valid uh, number. The scale is 0 to 14, so the user should not enter anything less than 0 and anything greater than 14. But first, what we really need to check first is uh, to make sure that the user actually entered a valid number or a number that the user didn't enter alphanumeric uh, character but an actual number and for that we will use the try parse uh, function of the of the c-sharp language so we will do if and if the integer this is the syntax for it integer try parse and you can see it converts the string representation of a number to its 32-bit sign integer equivalent a return value indicates whether the conversion succeeded so we will do the try parse and what are we parsing? This is the string a string containing a number to convert. The number to convert is going to be given by the user. Uh, so in the console.read line, we will read whatever the user entered and we will pass it as the number that we are checking in our try parse. So it's going to be console.read line that's the number that we are checking all right so um, that's the one and the we will place this into our into an integer in this case it's supposed to you probably cannot see it here but it says uh, when this method returns uh, returns contains the 32 bit sign integer value equivalent of the number contained in the s, which is the console that read line. So we will simply output it. If it's if it's valid number, we will output it into our ph uh, variable. So if this equals false, in other words, if the user did not enter a valid number, we have an invalid input. Another invalid input is if the user entered a number that is less than zero or greater than 14 so we can do our or if the pH is less than 0 or if the pH is greater than 14 so these are the conditions when entered these are the conditions that uh, we will output that the user entered invalid input so console dot uh, right line and we will just do invalid input. Okay, so we're checking for the invalid input. Now, let's see what happens when we get a valid input. And there's three possible options. Either the number is, the number must be uh, 0 to 14, which is ensured by this line of code. So if, uh, if this line of code passes, 
then we know that our number is valid. So we can do our else if, and in it, we can check if the pH is less than 7, greater than 7, or equal to 7. So if pH is less than 7, then we can write console.write line. We can write that the pH is, according to the exercise, acidic, because it's less than 7. Uh, so pH is acidic. All right, uh, else if the pH is greater than 7, then we have the other uh, condition, which would be alkaline. That's what it says. Uh, if the pH is higher than 7, we got it alkaline. So pH is alkaline. And finally, we have 7, equals 7. We have less than 7, greater than 7, and the only op other options is 7. We could do another else if statement, uh, else if pH equals 7. But in this case, we don't really need that, because there is only one uh, possible option. If the number is not less than 7, and it's not greater than 7, then it must equal 7. So we can simply do our else instead of else if. So else console dot right line. And in this case, the pH is neutral. All right, so let's run it. Uh, it's asking for the uh, level. So let's do uh, 8a. So this is invalid input because this is not a valid integer. And it says invalid input. Now let's do less than 0. Uh, so negative 1. And again, we get invalid input. And uh, let's do, if it's greater than 14, that's another invalid input. OK, so that, um, that part is working. So let's do a valid input. In this case, let's do 6. So 6 is less than 7, so it should return that the pH is acidic. And that's what it returned. And if we do greater than 7, let's say 8, then it should return that it's alkaline. And it did. And finally, the only other option would be 7, uh, and equal 7, and that should be neutral. And it is. Now, the order in which these conditions are being evaluated is important. For example, if we take uh, this condition and move it, uh, if we check the pH to make sure that uh, it's less than, not less than 7, for example, if this is the first condition, uh, well, I need to assign the pH. So I have to do our pH equals, and it's a console.read line. But it won't actually work because it will tell me that it's uh, you cannot convert string to integer because read line returns string. So I have to do convert that to integer 32. Ah, oops, wrong button. And um, it reads the line and converts whatever was uh, entered in the line to an integer and passes it to pH. So if I run it uh, and I enter, let's say, uh, negative 1, it says pH is acidic. It doesn't tell me that it's a uh, invalid input because it's just less than 7. So, but if I enter something like uh, 7a, an invalid input, it's not even a number, I get an un uh, unhandled exception. It won't, the program won't even run because 7a, it says input string was not in correct format. 7a cannot be converted to an integer. So we have to check whether the user entered integer first before we start checking for the values uh, themselves. We have to make sure that the user actually entered a number in the first place. The same over here in this condition in the OR statements. If we checked for pH less than 0 before we checked the try parse, we would have the same problem. If the user entered something uh, like a 7a, it would come over here uh, and it would 
it would simply blow up again because uh, tripars uh, would not be uh, reached before the program actually uh, crashes because it would again try to convert the string to integer. So the way the program works is it checks whether the user entered a number first. If this passes, if the user did enter a number, then it comes over here and checks whether it's less than zero. So we don't have to do the try parse over here anymore because it already passed our check for the integer over here. So we can simply use the ph. We already know if it comes down to here, we already know that the user entered a valid number because if the user didn't enter a valid number, this would throw uh, an invalid input over here and the program would exit. But if it comes over here, we already have the ph, we already have the integer and we can start checking for the actual values, whether it's less than zero or greater than 14. And if it is, if it, if it matches, if the user entered a number bef between zero and 14, then we come over here and check if it's less than seven or greater than seven or equal to seven. So again, let's run it one more time. Let's do seven and that should be neutral. There you go. And let's do invalid input again. And we get invalid input. All right, so um, this was fairly simple. I hope it was helpful though. And if it was, please leave a like, leave a comment, share with your friends. And I will see you in the next video. Take care.